cracking guys, Omar Esop here, finally here with a fat loss update. I'm going to talk for a little bit, going to tell you guys what's been going on, got a lot of uh, information to try and convey here. As you guys know, last year I began a natural fat loss, right? I wanted to show everyone a realistic fat loss transformation. Uh, and so I started at a pretty soft 191 pounds within four weeks. I was down to maybe about 186, 187. And then what happened is that my lower back, I re-aggravated it once again when I was doing some weightlifting. And so I had to take some time off. And this was hard for me because I had re-aggravated it several times. And it was something I honestly didn't anticipate would take me so long to fix because everything else I've ever, you know, had happen in my body, like a, a, a shoulder thing, a hip thing or whatnot, within about four to eight weeks it'd be solved. But this was persistent and because it was a larger issue, uh, something underlying when it comes to my lifting that had been happening for a while, but I never really addressed and so it just got worse and worse. But basically what happened, I had to take some time off. I spoke with some very intelligent people, uh, you know, Alberto Nunez, uh, Kane, Timberwolf and whatnot, people that have had very successful transformations and actually uh, Alberto also went through a, uh, a little bit of an SI thing that he had to deal with for a year where he had to take some uh, time off from just like body recomposition. And so the basic concept behind it was that I took time off, I maintain, I made that video uh, where I said I'm kind of broken, where I said I was taking time off from the transformation just because it's like this. If I can only squat like 135 pounds, if I could deadlift maybe once again 135, I remember I aggravated my back, uh, snatch grip deadlifting 185 pounds, how are you supposed to maintain your leg mass when you're losing weight? You gotta keep in mind that when it comes to uh, losing weight, the muscle is metabolically very costly, right? Your body wants to get rid of it. When you're reducing your calories, where do you get that extra calories? Well, you can get it from two sources. You can get it from adipose tissue, you can get it from fat, or you can get it from muscle, and that depends upon nutrient partitioning, and then how you train. When you train hard, you give your body a reason to keep that muscle. So if I can't train hard, if I can't squat heavy, if I can't do deadlifts, how am I gonna maintain that lower body mass? And so I decided to take that time off. I took uh, four to five months just trying to rebuild, fix everything, and as you guys probably saw by the videos, a lot has been going on in a positive sense. I've been fixing my mobility. I've been seeing uh, Vinny Rehab concerning that SI. I've been making it better. I've been regaining my strength because I want to make sure the entire uh, last year where I built muscle in the last you know 16 months or whatnot when I was in that lean mass phase was my lower body. My upper body, right, I kind of had a little bit of upper body. I had that ash chest, but that lower body is something I wanted to improve. The, the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. And so I did that. So I was very careful. I didn't want to lose this now. If I was just going to cut and I was going to cut while squatting 135, I'm going to lose all that mass I put on throughout the last year. So I took my time. I played it smart. I kept on the down low. You got to keep in mind this channel, guys, is so much more than just me lifting. I try and bring the informative content. So I didn't want to talk about it. I was dealing with it. To be honest, it's also annoying as hell. I hate when people are always like, oh, like this is going on. Oh, poor me. Now, didn't want to talk about any of it. Just wanted to solve it. So I focused on it. Things are now good, which is why we have the update. So the update now, now that uh, Vinny's been treating me uh, for almost two months, things are feeling good. I'm moving better. I can use uh, weight that will help me, uh, you know, maintain my muscle mass. I've resumed my cut, and now I weigh about 179, 180 pounds. So I've lost about 12 pounds. Realistically, if I was just to do this as a straight cut from the start to uh, where I am now, probably take me about 10 weeks to achieve what I've achieved. Again, this is a realistic transformation, so it's nothing fancy. I try to make sure for this uh, photo, I actually just took this photo as a joke because I was lifting with Kane before we did our bodybuilding. This was taken around 6 p.m., so not taken in the morning, so probably a little bit softer. The lighting, I try to replicate the lighting that would be outside on my roof. Thing is, it's cold as hell right now. I sure as hell am not going out there to take a photo, so I decided to take it in the gym. I took it in a place that had you know, realistic lighting. I could have went for that unnatural lighting downstairs that you guys saw when I was doing the bodybuilding, but just wanted a realistic portrayal of what's going on. So that's 12 pounds. I've shifted my body fat down quite a bit, but I have a cool announcement is now that everything's syncing up, you know, the weightlifting's going well, mobility's feeling great, my back is holding up, I'm resuming the cut, and I actually want to get down to, I'm not uh, going to set an exact number because it's more about how the body looks is I want to get down somewhere, you know, probably around 10 pounds. Again, not going to pinpoint it again, but I'm going to get the leanest I've been uh, in years, in at least uh, four or five years. So I want to shed some extra body fat. As you guys see, I'm pretty lean, but I can definitely be leaner. And then from there, 
all those goals, I'm gonna resume uh, that lean mass phase. All those other goals I've been hinting at, you know, doing those uh, pull-ups that I've been doing, the overhead press, all that volume, I've been building that work capacity while I've been cutting. When I transition into a lean mass phase, it's really gonna pay off because I'm gonna have that volume that's a key requisite in order to get more muscle mass. So guys, that's been the update. In terms of macronutrients, currently right now, here are my numbers. I have 190 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs, and I have 70 grams of fat. I'm going to every single week because I plan on accomplishing the rest in about eight weeks. I like a slow cut, why? Because it helps me maintain my strength. Uh, you guys saw that bench press. I was able to hit at 180 pounds, 315 for three reps. My strength is still there. My strength, you know, it's still there. I don't want it to decrease. I at least want to maintain a relative strength. That's very important to me. So I'm doing that slow and steady uh, cut. Gradually, bit by bit, I'm going to reduce those carbohydrates. I'll also begin carb cycling. Why is the protein above one gram per pound of body weight? Simply put, for satiety, for how I feel, right? In order to make sure that I feel full. I have no cravings whatsoever. That's no issue at all but I wanna make sure that I am good. So I feel full, I feel like I have the energy necessary to train, things are synced up. I'm looking at uh, over about the next eight to 10 weeks to accomplish that goal of losing around 10 more pounds. So that'd bring my total fat loss to around 18 to 22 pounds is what I'm looking at. And then from there, go on to lean mass phase. So I apologize for the delay, but a lot has been going on. I've been waiting until I have good news to share the good news with everybody. It's going on. I wanna know from you guys, I know it's been a while and again, like. This transformation, I'm just trying to show everyone realistically what you can achieve. I think anyone out there uh, can do this. I'm not trying to sell anything. So my question to you guys, do you want to see uh, a continuation of this series? Would you like to see an update in four weeks? If you do, like the video and leave a comment below because what I'm thinking about doing it's giving you guys that photo update every few weeks, but also just documenting, you know, maybe the training, how it's going, how uh, I deal with the low energy on certain days, just kind of the overall feel of going through this. Because right now I can say safely, I can lose 10 to 12 pounds and maintain my strength, right? Because it was mainly, it was just fat I was losing. These next 10 pounds are kind of what I call the danger pounds because as I drop 20 pounds of total body weight, my actual absolute strength will drop. It's gonna be very hard for me to maintain that. And so that is gonna be exactly what I focus on, trying to maintain as much strength and muscle as possible while I lose this last 10 pounds. That's the update, guys. Thank you, as always, for the support. I got a whole lot of cool, informative content, including probably one of my best bench press videos ever dropping in a few days. I'm going down to California uh, starting next Monday. I've been prepping for a while. That's why there's been an absence of videos on the channel because I'm going to be doing a lot of collaborations. Mark Bell, Bart Kwan, Sam, Mike, Alan Thrall, a whole bunch that I'm not even gonna mention. Gonna leave it till it happens. I'm very excited about that. That's the video, guys. I gotta get out of here. I gotta train. It's a beautiful day. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.